So this is where the fucking problem comes. Where's the hair? Where's the hair that I sold on hair myself? Where is the hair? Let me count how many rolls of hair is missing. This is one, two, three. Three rolls of hair. It's not on my cat. Where the fuck is my hair? Where my hair at? Where is the hair, sis? Where the fuck is the hair? channel it's shot here with another slay <laughs> before i even get started i would like to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting me on my little youtube journey all the likes all the subscribers all the comments like everything is very very appreciated because i was so nervous starting this and y'all been supporting me and keeping me motivated so all thanks goes to y'all thank you so i really debated doing this video because i'm not the type of girl that like goes on Yelp and get bad reviews or like you know I just be I just put a mental note in my head like all right I'm just not gonna go there again on I'm not gonna use this service again. I never bash anybody business and that's why I'm not gonna say the name of who I'm talking about because at the end of the day it says get your money how you get it but you ain't getting none of my money no more. That's that's how I feel. You're not getting none of my money no more. Like you lost a client. But yeah, I'm not making this video to bash or like stop their money, so I'm not going to say their name, but this is my experience and I'm going to speak on it. Really? This video is about my horrible birthday hair experience with a hairstylist. I don't even know if I should call her that because she's so fucking unprofessional, but whatever. Like for the past three years, every birthday I do my own hair. I make my own wig, I do it myself, I color it myself. So I never have to stress about nothing because i know i'm going to do it you know it's in my hands you know so this birthday i opted out of coloring it myself because i was going away for father's day i was going away for father's day to surprise my dad so i'm like you know what i don't have enough time to sit and color this hair father's day was the 21st but it was a monday my birthday was on a wednesday the following wednesday I was leaving to go to North Carolina the previous Friday and my hair came that Tuesday. So it was Tuesday I got the hair, Friday was my flight, Monday I was coming back home and Wednesday was my birthday. Like it was too much so I'm like you know what, I'm going to make the wig myself but I'm going to pay somebody to do the highlights for me. Simple highlights, some blonde, ashy blonde highlights. I'm going to show y'all how I want it to look and my, um, I'm going to post a little picture. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to book somebody. There was this girl that I met, I think, like, in one of them entrepreneur groups on Facebook. She did here. And a couple of my friends, when we follow each other, I've seen, like, a couple of my friends booked her before. And they can always look good. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to book her. This is the one I'm going to go to. I'm, I'm trusting her because I see my friends that had went to her. And I'm like, okay, she must not be that bad. So I DM her and I'm like, hey, um, I'm looking to do highlights on a wig. Would you be able to do it for me if I make the wig myself? She's like, sure, no problem. Highlights are $100. Um, book on my site under coloring. I'm like, okay, cool. So this is on June 8th I booked her. Now I deposit $40 because she has a um, $40 deposit fee. I deposited the $40 so I owe her $60. Fast forward, a week goes by. I don't hear anything about like where the address is or what time to drop the hair off or nothing. So I'm like, you know what, let me write her. I wrote her and I'm like, hey, um, I just want to know when can I drop you the hair and um, where's the address and stuff like that. Like, just trying to get the information. She gives me the information. She lets me know like, you need to bring the hair ASAP. Like, I need like six days to do the um, highlights because you gotta process it twice. I'm like, alright, cool. I'll bring it to you tomorrow. Like, the fuck? <laughs> I'll bring it to you tomorrow. So she's like, alright, that's perfect. She um sends me... What did she send me? She sent me the address, but she didn't tell me a time. So the next day, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. 
I need to know how to plan my day. So I'm writing her like really early and I'm like, hey, good morning. I want to know what time can I drop you this here? She didn't reply. I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe she's not up. She gave me two numbers because one number is her work phone, I guess, and one number is her personal number. But when I was trying to send her the pictures of what I wanted, it wasn't coming up on her work phone. So she gave me her regular, her actual number. So that's what I text good morning to and asked her what time to drop it to. So now I'm like, you know what, let me just text her work phone. I text the work phone, no response. I was go by, it's like 12 now. I'm like, you know what, let me go on Instagram. She's posting on Instagram. No figure. I write her and I, and I DM her. I'm like, hey, I've been trying to contact you and DM you. I mean, and text you. She's like, all right, I got you right there. I'm going to check it right now. I, I will go by. Still no reply. So she had to have text me like at three or around three. Remember, I wanted to te- I wanted to bring the hair around two or three. She didn't text me until like two, and she's like, "Hey, um, can you bring it around three or four, something like that? Can you bring it around four or five? Four or five? That was the number. Four or five. And I'm like, "Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine." take public transportation to her no i was gonna take an uber to her so i'm like you know what let me just get a ride because i got a feeling that this girl gonna play cat and mouse with me like i just had a feeling in my bones so i hit up my homeboy brandon you know he always look out so i'm like brandon you want to drive me to go drop off this hair i'll buy you a drink like i'm over here bribing the boy like can you please give me a ride and i'll buy you a drink Okay, so yeah, she didn't write me until 3 o'clock. And she was like, oh, can you do it for 4 or 5? And I'm like, all right, that's cool, whatever the case may be. She's like, change your address. Um, Can you meet me here instead? I'm like, all right, cool. So 4 o'clock comes, Brandon comes pick me up. We go to Lindenwood. I'm getting out the car. As I'm getting out the car, I'm like, let me text her and let her know I'm going to be on my way soon. So I text her and I'm like, hey, um, I'm about to be to you around 4.30, 4.45. She's like, can we just meet up? I'm like, meet up where? Because I have a, a car now. Like, I have it right now. She was like, she gave me some street that's da- like downtown Brooklyn. And I'm like, all right, cool. She's like, um, I said, well, I could be there around 6 because now you're changing the address. Like, I have to make sure I have a lot of time to get there. So I said, can I be there around 6? And she was like, um, okay, but I have to run out. And I'm like, so what time will you be there? She's like, oh, um, I have to go get bleached, da-da-da-da. So I'll let you know when I'm back. So I'm like, can you call me? Because now I'm just getting aggravated. Like, you gave me one. First, she wasn't answering me earlier in the day. You gave me another address to meet you at. Now, it's another address now that you want me to meet you at. And then now you're telling me you got to run out and do stuff. Like, girl, you you told me to bring this hair to you. Like, I'm trying to give you the hair. So I'm getting aggravated now. We go back to Brandon's house. We doing hookah, we drinking and shit. And then um, she wrote me. I, I'm like, let me call her and see if she's there yet. So I text her like, hey, are you at the hotel? Because she was at a hotel. Don't ask me why. I'm like, hey, are you there? She was like, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm on my way. I get there. I give her the hair. This girl comes downstairs. She just takes the bag and walks off. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? Like, you had me waiting for hours. It's like 7 o'clock now, bro. It's 7 o'clock now I'm giving you this hair. You had me waiting all day to give you this hair. You can't even say sorry or... Like, no type of communication. Girl just took the hair and went back in the hotel. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Okay, so fast forward. I'm in North Carolina now. She writes me, I think, that Saturday. Like, hey, doll, um, when did you need your hair done by? And I'm like, um, I need it by the 23rd because that's my birthday. I'm lying. My birthday's the 24th, but I need her to get this hair done the 23rd because that's my party. So I'm like, yeah, I need the 23rd because it's my birthday. She was like, oh, okay, that's perfect. That's great because I got to bleach this um hair twice because you actually want it too light. You, gotta, you want it light. She's like, okay, that's great because I have to bleach this hair more than once because you want it really light. So I'm just making sure I have enough time. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm not thinking nothing of it, right? So my appointment for her to pick up this wig was at 10 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. That's when I'm supposed to pick up the hair. 
So I get back in Brooklyn on Monday, go about my business. That's my best friend's birthday, so I was out with my best friend. I come home, I make sure to wake up early because I'm like, I have to go pick up this wig, right? I wake up about 8-ish. I'm going about my day like I'm doing stuff around the house. I'm setting up for my event that I'm having at my house later that day. I get a text message from her and she was like, hey, um, 10 o'clock is not good for me. Can you come later because I'm at the hospital. I have to go to the emergency room or something like that. And I'm like, okay, I can't be a bitch about her having to go to the emergency room. So let me just be like, all right, let me go with the flow. So she was like, your hair is sitting in a conditioner right now. Um, so I would need you to, um, I would need to bring it to you later or something like that. See, my thing is, right, because I do hair. Why is my hair in a conditioner the night before when you had six days to do this, this wig? Why the day of my hair is still wet? You get what I'm saying? Like, it should have been washed and shit already. And it should have been prepped for you to just flat iron it and go. It shouldn't be the day of after I done gave you this hair on a Thursday or Wednesday. It is now Tuesday and my hair is just in conditioner. Like, I would never understand that. But whatever. So I'm like, all right, the latest I can do is like three. And she was like, well, if anything, I could have it dropped to you by four. like if you're gonna have it drop to me then that's perfect like because i don't have to do as much as i needed to do before so she's like yeah i'll have it drop to you around four or five right so i'm getting ready my makeup appointment was at six i had to leave my house around five so i'm getting ready for my makeup appointment i'm like yo where the fuck is this wig at like so then she writes me right and she's like hey did you ever use this hair before and i'm like um no it's new but i'm thinking she means like that particular hair that I had, I'm not thinking she meant like the brand or the vendor, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking she mean like, did I ever have, did I ever use these bundles? Like, did I ever install it or anything? So I'm like, um, no, it's new. And she was like, oh, because it don't really take to the bleach. Like, it's not getting no lighter. It's not turning the color that you want it. And I'm thinking in my head, like, I use this hair all the time. And I bleach it myself on, for my clients. And it always get like, now all of a sudden it's not. Make it make sense. So she shows me the wig and it's still wet. And I'm like, bro, it's like 3 o'clock now. How the fuck is this wig still wet? Like, what the fuck? So I'm going to make sure I put um, pictures in this thing so y'all can see the receipts. I got screenshots and all. Like, I got it. I'm not lying. I'm not making shit up. I'm not exaggerating. Like... I'm gonna remind y'all that I want it ashy blonde. This hair is brown. Like, it looks brown. Like, I, I, it's no other way to explain it, but it's brown. Now, I'm like, I'm getting aggravated because, like, now we don't look the way I want it to look. It don't look bad, but it's not what I wanted. You know, it's your birthday. You want what you want. So, I'm like, you know what? Just um, forget it. You don't, it, don't, it don't have to be no lighter. Like, just leave it like that, dry it, flat iron it, and just get it to me because my birthday about to start. Like, I don't have time for you to even try or attempt to make this shit lighter. Just bring me my wig. You get me? So, she's like, oh, I'm going to have, I'm going to flat iron it right now. And then I'm going to put it in an Uber. Right? Like an hour go by. I'm like, hey, did you put it in an Uber? She was like, um, wait, I have somebody that's going to bring it to you for, um, for me. Now somebody's bringing it to me. Okay. Now it was like 5 o'clock. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I even waited a little longer in my house because I'm like, you know what, I'm going to take an Uber to my makeup appointment so I have more time to stay at home and wait for this wig. Nothing, 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 nothing. Like, no messages, no nothing. Like, I'm, I just feel like I'm just hitting this girl up and I'm not getting a response. I get to my makeup appointment and my makeup appointment was for 6 I got there like around 6 15 or something like that and I'm like hey any word on the hair she was like oh the girl's like 25 minutes away um I gave her your number so she'll she'll be calling you 
So that took like a relief for me. I'm like, all right, the hair gonna be there in 25 minutes. My mom's home. She can just get it, get it for me. 25 minutes go by. My mother calls me. I'm like, you got the hair? Nobody came. Excuse me. Now it was like seven o'clock, y'all. Now it was like seven o'clock. My event for my birthday was at eight. It started for eight. Why at seven o'clock I still don't have no wig, y'all? Why? So I'm I'm texting her. I'm texting her. No response. No response. I'm like, where is she at? I could meet her. No response. No response. So now I'm getting like aggravated. Like now the bitch in me is about to come out. But this whole time I'm being very, 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 very polite. You can see in the messages I'm being very polite because I want my shit. Like I want my wig, and I don't want you to do no funny shit. So when you're not giving me my wig, and I gotta beat your ass. So I'm like, you know what? Let me be calm about it. I'm like, yo, where is she? Like, where's the girl that's dropping me the wig? I called her now. She ain't answer. She calls me back. I'm like, hey, where's the wig? She's like, um, she didn't call you. She didn't drop it to you yet. Oh my god, let me call her. Number one. Why are you not keeping tabs on my wig that you shipped with somebody else? You should know that she didn't give it to me. Because you should know. You should have spoke to her. So how you just find out from me that she didn't give me the wig? You should have been calling and getting updates like, yo, did you do that? Did you drop it? This is your business. This is your business. How the hell you don't know where my wig at? So she's like, oh, I'm going to call her right now. She texts me like, you know, I'm so sorry for the way and the confusion. I'm going to give you back $50. I'm going to give you back half of your money. Because I already paid her my whole thing. At this point, when she said that she was sending the money through the girl, I already had Zelta the rest of, of the um the balance. So she's like, you know what? I'm going to give you back 50%. Um, So that's $50 of your um money. Because I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Like, this is a lie. I'm sorry. You have to go through this. Da -da -da. So at this point, I'm kind of happy about getting my little $50 back. But I'm still like, I need my hair. Like, where the fuck is my hair? She's like, the girl got pulled over by the cops, and now the girl is going to put the wig in the Uber. And she's, the girl was supposed to be 10 minutes away from my house, so the girl supposed to put the, the wig in the Uber. Bro, another half an hour passed, another 40 minutes passed. I still don't have a wig. The, the wig not even in the Uber. All of a sudden, she texts me, like, go outside. The wig is outside. So I call my mother, rush her, like, mom, you got to go downstairs to get the wig, da, da, da. That wig didn't get dropped off until 8 o'clock. And that's not the least of what happened. This is not the least of what happens. So I come home. I go to my room. I ask my mother, like, where's the wig? I take the wig out the bag. No bleach knots. That's the first thing I noticed. Like, the, the knots is not bleached. So do you remember the first message I wrote her was, can you bleach the knots for me? These knots are not bleached. I'm like, all right, cool. It's not. I didn't expect her to style it or nothing because I only paid for coloring. But I did ask her to bleach the knots because when you're bleaching hair, you got the bleach like you have the bleach right there. So just bleach the knots. You get what I'm saying? She said, yeah. So I'm thinking my knots will be bleached. I ain't, I ain't worrying about the part not being plugged. I'm not worrying about nothing. I'm just saying, I asked you to do something. You said you was gonna do it, and then it's not done. So now I'm sitting here looking real wiggy like it looked like a real like just wiggy so <laughs> i don't even know how to explain it so i take the, the the wig out the bag i'm looking at the wig i'm just annoyed because it's brown it's not what i wanted matter of fact let me show you the wig so this is the wig this is the color of it right i had to pluck the um part myself but the knots are not bleached the knots are not bleached and i put a band on it she asked me if she wanted um if I wanted her to put a band on there, but I already had bands in my house, so I'm like, no, it's fine. I'll do it myself. So, this is the wig, right? The color actually looked good on me. I'm not going to hold you. It looked good on me. So, I wasn't, like, really stressed about that because I'm like, all right, at least I look good still. I was stressed about this. This is, this is where the fucking problem comes. Where's the hair? Where's the hair that I sold on here myself? Where is the hair? Let me count how many rolls of hair is missing. This is one, two, three. Three rolls of hair. It's not on my cat. Where the fuck is my hair? Where my hair at? Where is the hair, sis? Where the fuck is the hair? So it took me a little minute to um peep what was going on because... 
I don't know. In my head, I'm thinking I gave her the hair and she made the wig. Like, I'm thinking she made the wig. Like, it just slipped my mind. It's my birthday. You know your mind everywhere. I'm thinking, like, oh, she must have put hair on the bottom. But then I showed my mom. My mother was like, didn't you put hair there? And I'm like, yo, I made this fucking wig. <laughs> like, where the fuck is the hair? Where's the hair? Where's my hair? That's a whole bundle right there. Where the fuck is the bundle? So I text her and I'm like, hey, where's the hair? Where the fuck is the hair? She's like, oh, um, I meant to tell you that the hair got, got um, burnt off in the bleaching process. So basically she bleached my hair and it was burned and the hair got matted up and she took the hair off. So all that happened and you don't think to contact your client and tell your client that this happened with their hair? You just cut their hair off their wig and give it to them and don't tell them nothing? That's how you do fucking business? That's how you do business? Because I'm, I'm taking a back. That's how you do business? Bro, there's no hair here. If you put the wig on, you can't even part it in the middle and the back because you can just see the cap. I made this wig myself. How the fuck you take off hair off of my wig without telling me? At least telling me. This girl didn't say nothing. She didn't mention a word about it to my she had meant to tell me. You meant to tell me that my hair was burnt and then how the fuck you didn't think like that should have been the first I should have been the first person you reached out to. Bro. And how the fuck you a professional and you do hair, you work in a shop, and you bleach the hair to it burn? Ain't you supposed to test it and see if the hair can get bleached or whatever? You didn't do nothing that, none of that. And it's real weird to me how you said the hair don't get light. But back here, it's very, very, very light. So what I think is that you waited last minute to do my way, you bleached it when it was about time for you to give it to me. You didn't have time to bleach it again to make it lighter. So you try to give me this story about how the hair is bad. I use this hair all the time. All the fucking time. I use it on my clients. When people ask me, oh, can you recommend hair? I always recommend this vendor. Now all of a sudden it's, it's messed up. No, you was out there doing whatever you was doing. Took my wig and was like, um, I'll do that later. Now you're rushing. You probably put the bleach on it at a higher volume and kept it on longer so you can make it lighter because you don't have enough time because you didn't allot yourself enough time and then now it burnt my fucking hair or you stole my fucking bundle like i i can make it make sense because i don't it's either the two either you burnt it because you were you were negligent ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing or you stole my fucking hair make it make sense Bro, when I say I wanted to fight, like I wanted to fight, never have I ever experienced no shit like this in my life. How the fuck you cut my hair off my wig and don't tell me? Like, make it make sense. <laughs> because I'm getting mad thinking all about it all over. Like, you supposed to be a professional. You supposed to be a professional, bro. Make it make sense. There is no hair on the back of my wig and that was 28 inches that's not cheap the fuck how you cut my hair off my wig without telling me you should have just gave it back to me burnt and mad it the fuck it's my hair that i paid for well my nigga paid for it but it don't matter it's our money like the fuck <laughs> like i can't believe this like to end the story I was texting her and I was pissed and I was telling her I was pissed. But at the end of the day, it was my birthday and I had to go enjoy my birthday. So I wasn't going to be texting this bitch all night. And so I'm like, you know what? I will never book with her again. I will never trust nobody else to do my hair again. But as the days go on, everybody was like, no, you need to like say something. You need to post about it, like drag her and do all this shit. And I'm just like, nah, I'm not, I'm not here to do the extra shit. You know what I'm saying? But... What I would do is tell y'all what the fuck I've been through because I was stressed, man. Like, I'm still in stress because how the fuck you fuck up a wig like this? Like, 
it's not even horrible but it's not what i want you see how light it is under here so clearly the hair do get light you just didn't try to make it light and so it was just like everything that could go wrong went wrong from the moment i was trying to run this bitch down to give her the hair then you get the hair you tell me you need it by a certain time i gave it to you at a certain time now i don't get the hair till 8 p.m on my birthday the day of my birthday celebration i don't get my hair till 8 p.m from a 10 o'clock appointment in the morning and then i'm texting you and calling you not answering like that shit is crazy like i always want to support people and i'm all for the support black businesses like i'm here for that i i have a black business i want y'all to succeed but what you're not going to do is take my money and think because you're a black business, I'm not going to drag your ass. Like, no, you need to do better or don't do business, period. Do better or don't do business. I don't care if you're black, white, yellow, orange. Do your work correctly or don't do business. It's just that simple. Because if I was some other type of bitch, this could have went way left. And I'm not tagging her name because I don't need... To give that clout to her, then everybody gonna be going on her page. Next thing you know, she getting booked. Like, nah, I'm not. I'm not going to even give you that type of clout. But just know, I know, and I will never give you money again. Like, first of all, you should have gave me back my whole hundred dollars. That's number one. Because you fucked up my wig, you took off bundles. Why I'm only giving back fifty dollars, and you gave me back that fifty dollars because you was giving me the run around, and I didn't get my hair to eight o'clock. Little did I know, a whole bundle was off my fucking wig. But you knew that. You didn't tell me that. And you didn't give back my fucking money. Make it make sense. Whew. Let me breathe. <laughs> Yo. Never again. I can't again, even man. say like. Oh make sure the person you support and does good business. Because I seen my friends go to this girl. So I'm never thinking like. Oh it's going to be a fucked up experience. Like I'm never thinking that. So, it could be the person you least expect that you're doing business with is going to do you wrong, and they still do. So, what I will say is that, yo, y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better, because a bitch like me is scarred for life now. A bitch will never get a dollar from me for, do, for no hair. Not for no hair. I'll do it myself, because you're not about to play with me the way I was playing with last week and it was my birthday like imagine feeling like that on your birthday like girl Whew. but i'm happy i got that off my chest because i can't make it up like i can't make it up she had me running around chasing her to give her this hair then i had to chase the bitch to get my hair back just for it to yo I, i'm jacking she stole my bundle that's that's my story that's what i'm sticking to I'm Jack and she stole my bundle. <laughs> I really need to get that off my chest and it's off now so I could go to sleep and rest and be okay because for a while I'm like yo I gotta post this girl I gotta drag her like I got to but I decided not to I'm just gonna do this on YouTube and I'm not gonna tag her because bitch make your money somewhere but you ain't getting mine no more like you're not getting mine no more. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with another video probably later this week. No, wait. What's today? No, next week. And turn on notifications so you can know. Thank you. Bye.